Hey, what is up? What is up? This is Tommy Gunn's Law with Avoiding Stupidity. And on today's show, some people aren't going to like this, but I'm going to talk about it anyways. What's going on <laughs> with society is just crazy shit. Then you put in the whole trending situation with Deion Sanders and Colorado and how social media, they're just orgasming all over the place, trying to do whatever they can to be a part of this Deion Sanders, uh, Colorado situation. I mean, each game, there's more and more famous people coming to the games, more celebrities, I should say. Uh, Little Wayne's walking them out of the tunnel now. Um, Stephen A. Smith and his new boyfriend, Shannon Sharp, they're on the sidelines. They show up with the whole show at the game. And that's whatever. I love Dion. I love the story. I love everything. But of course, there's a lot of talking. Um, the coach said some shit about, or Colorado State's coach said some stuff about Dion, and that causes, he's, we're taking it personal and I get that that's whatever they shook after and they seem cool but it's the hit of Henry Blackburn it wasn't the best hit in the world I understand it and um Travis Hunter is badly hurt but basically I mean there was the pass right when the pass hit he hit he hit Travis Hunter Blackburn did and it was to me I don't know. It's football. I've seen some crazier shit, way crazier than this, way worse than this. And it just kind of whatever. But now it's this whole Deion Sanders, Colorado thing. You can't touch him. You can't do anything. It's like they're here. If you do anything, you will be demolished. And Blackburn is being demolished with his late hit on Travis Hunter. His family, him, they've all received death threats. Somebody put their phone numbers, their addresses, and everything, all their personal information online. Now, everywhere they go, they're scared to go anywhere. The coach of Colorado State is worried for his players because they're getting so many death threats. It's crazy. It's still football. Okay, it wasn't the best hit. Maybe a tad late, and I'm talking about a tad late, and he was just, even though the hit was bad, it looked like he was just sending a message, hey, we're here to play. Unfortunately, you know, Hunter got hurt. He's one of their best players. But the media coverage and the fans threatening this guy is unbelievable. And I'm sure he regrets the hit. He probably wish he didn't do it. But here we are. He did it. And I mean, it is just unbelievable. Had this been any other school, any other situation, I mean, this would probably not even be an issue at all. But since it's the old mighty Colorado and you Deion Sanders and everyone wants to be a part of this, it's unbelievable how society reacts to this. It's unbelievable the coverage for all of this. It's like, I don't even know who else is playing. Is anyone in college football playing? I just know there's Colorado and I don't know. I They don't even talk about anybody else. It's Dion Colorado, every station, every day, all the time. Dion Sanders is on every sports show every Monday, even news or different entertainment programs. He's everywhere. And, and that's awesome for him, the school. He's sold over almost 2 million pairs of those sunglasses, which I'll probably buy a pair. He's brought so much money in the school and it's nothing against Dion. It's nothing against the school. It's the media. They want to be a part of this so bad. They don't give a shit about anything else at all, but making sure they're a part of this trending story with Dion Sanders. And it's like, fucking chill out, man. Everyone wants to be so a part of what's trending. They don't, it makes them not give a fuck or shit about anything else. And for the fans threatening this kid is unbelievable, man. I don't know. Tell me what you think. The only way to stay away from stupidity is to avoid it. This is Tommy Gunn. Of course, like and subscribe to the channel. Avoiding stupidity. And I am out. See you next time. Thanks for watching.